Hey guys, Fire here from In-Depth Gaming, and bringing you another game review. This time we're checking out Tranga Unlimited. This game was developed and published by Flux Games and releases on May 28th, 2021 for a price of $6.99. Let's go ahead and dive on into Tranga Unlimited. I'm going to show you kind of the early parts of the game. Um, that way you can kind of get a take of how it works and I don't screw up the levels yeah. while talking. So Tranga Unlimited is a Tetris Jenga style hybrid of a game where you have companions in the form of buddies that you use that give you either special skills and abilities or bonus score attributes. Ultimately, you get these Tetris style blocks that you have to place on one of four sides while attempting to not make any mistakes while you're playing the game. As you move around the game and navigate around, you're gonna have to try to fit the pieces in the best portions that they can. If you mess anything up, the game's gonna punish you by taking away your oxygen that's in the very top of your screen. As well as oxygen, you also have a combo multiplier. So as you place pieces, you'll build up combo chains that will then allow you to get more points where you can see your score on the bottom left. Now, from that score, you'll then try to complete various challenges, as every stage in the game will present you with three different tasks for you to try to get all the stars. It can range in anything from hitting scores, to not rotating your blocks, to getting X amount of combos, and anything really in between. Um, as you start to go through the game, the levels are actually fairly easy, but they do will start to ramp up in difficulty, so you'll have to really try to work to figure out the best way to place your pieces while under pressure without letting the game get the best of you. When you first start out each stage, there's usually a piece or two that you can fit a puzzle piece, but for the most part, you have to really figure out you know, where they can go the best. Uh, with what you have to work with. You can rotate the pieces, you can flip them over. Um, it's really however you feel you are best equipped to complete the puzzles. Um, none of them are obviously too, uh, too difficult in the sense of you're not gonna have to spend more than a couple minutes on a single stage. And when I say that, I mean, you're gonna be able to quickly, you know, beat them, but the challenge that you're going to run into is if you're trying to get all the three stars. You can quickly blow through any stage by just forcing pieces, but sometimes if you're trying to force pieces, you will die because every time you miss a block up or waste something, it actually takes away your oxygen. So you have a very limited amount of oxygen, and once it's gone, you fail the stage. So you're going to have to really play a rather fine dance between figuring out the best pieces to put in a location, and what's going to suit you best for that level. Now, uh, beyond just the main like story mode-esque portion of the game, you also have a survival mode, which is basically just last as long as you can before you run out of oxygen, um, and bring the best possible buddy that you can with you while you're playing. Um, some of the buddies do things such as give you more oxygen to allow you to live longer, or give you point modifiers while you're going. There's a ton of different buddies to unlock, um, but you know it's really up to you to figure out what you think is going to best equip you for the level that you're diving into. The achievements for this game are not impossible, but they're not the easiest thing by far. Um, you're going to have to navigate around perfecting every level in the game to really figuring out the way to get the fastest scores possible. Some of the levels are, you know, pretty tough to get anywhere on them, especially when you are trying to hit specific achievements, but you can generally beat just about any level, kind of just forcing your way through it. Um, overall, I think Tranga Unlimited is actually a ton of fun, especially if you're a fan of Tetris and Jenga style games. Um, I think it's definitely a game that would fit perfect in your uh, catalog of games. For the price point of where it's at, at $6.99, I really don't think there's any way to go wrong with it. Um, I think if the game was much more or much less, it might feel a little off. I mean, I know we all love getting games for as cheap as we possibly can, but sometimes price points for games feel just right. The visuals and overall atmosphere and aesthetics for this game fit the game very well. Um, the only real complaints that I have is maybe the intro portion of the game was a little more friendly, especially for gamers that aren't, you know, super used to the style and play of games. You, it helps coming into this game if you have knowledge of playing 
Tetris like games and understanding how to really rotate and move pieces and you know being really good at problem solving you know if you're not good at Tetris and stuff this probably isn't going to be a game for you by any means um, but overall though I think it is definitely worth checking out if I have to give the game any type of a review score I'm going to give the game a 7.5 out of 10 I think it's a great game it's a ton of fun especially if you want something that's casual um, play for a couple minutes here and there as well as it does feature a local versus multiplayer so you can play with you and up to three friends and you know kind of see what you can get and beat scores and knock them out but overall outside of that though if you guys do have any more questions about the game please let us know down in the comments if you want to see more gameplay see some of the later levels or achievement guides let us know like the video if you enjoyed it and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button we uh yeah we'd appreciate it outside of that i hope you guys have a wonderful day and we'll catch you next time